Well, looks like it's time to play another Mario ROM hack. One some of you might have heard of, one some of you might not have heard of. Ink Bits presents Massimo. Massimo by Ink. See, in the previous video, I explained how I was going to decide how to play hacks whenever I had the choice, or like a few that I was willing to play. There are four possibilities on what I could have played. Actually, three, because I don't know what I was going to do with Auntie's choice. I hit Massimo, so. Well, I'm going to have to play this, and I already see some cut off when it comes to the edges of the landmass and the water and the cement blocks. Massimo 1, Massimo 2, Massimo 3, let's just play. <laughs> Massimo is bored. It's time for a denture. Um, you might want to check your grammar there. Massimo's hole. Kinda nice how the overworld is shaped like a skull. <coughs> yes, I did read the documents that came with this thing. Because apparently this is a very confusing hack, and there's nothing over here. Of course, because why not? Hum. Hum? I think it should say home. Because this is home, apparently. Apparently Massimo's home is a hole in the ground. Massimo's some hobo that somehow shares some of Mario's traits. Except everyone knows about Mario, but just about nobody knows who Massimo is. There's so few people that know about him, maybe, we just, maybe it's just safe to say that no one knows about him. Sure, he runs and jumps exactly like Mario. But the levels in this land are pretty flat and boring. Like, look at this. No, you don't actually have to make that kind of jump. There's all this cutoff between the cement blocks and the water. It's not like super huge cutoff like you see here. According to Ink according to Ink knowledge, this is proper. But according to everyone else's knowledge, no, it's not proper. Huge landmass cut off like this. That's pretty much what all of it's gonna look like. But it shouldn't. <coughs> oh, we're already done that. Nice. Watery passageway. Ah, oh, no music. This pipe really isn't causing cutoff with the landmass unless if there's something that I'm missing. Hmm, it seems to have been better done here. There's like maybe he had alternate graphics so that I don't know. <laughs> this is very black and white. And it's also empty too. I haven't seen any yet. Oh, the first enemies I've seen all game. Even this is pretty easy to dodge. Okay, the ledge cuts off into nothing here. This thing. So mostly the hack's just looking very empty. And I think I just woke up a rib vent fish with an alternate graphic. I got a key that I don't know where to put yet. So we're just gonna keep swimming until we find out. Don't wanna wake you guys up. Ah, there we go. Keep swimming through a long passageway. Of, and what was up with that? Ah, uh, there's no time to really ask because I'm not even there anymore to like look at it. Pilots could use work here, I think. Yeah, I think the pilots here could use some work. Okay, now we're seeing more enemies. But we're only seeing ninjas. Which are pretty easy to take out. Okay, this is a pretty tricky jump, but... Oh, crap. This is an easy jump. For a second level. And yes, with the key, you're actually supposed to toss it up here. I've actually seen some of this game get played before, so it's not entirely blind, but... 
I'll know every single detail of it. So it still should be interesting for you guys watching it. I almost died, thank god I didn't. What's down here? I don't know. A dragon coin that apparently, according to the readme, don't doesn't do anything, so why am I collecting them, fool? <laughs> dragon coins don't do anything. slowing down quite a bit, and now we got Rim Van Fish here coming after me, which isn't good. It never is. And in this warp pipe, we find ourselves popping out. There's so gotta be some sort of keyhole around here. What have I said before? The landmass just cuts off into nothing when it touches water. And... I kinda had to tear drag that key the entire way. If you miss the key, then... Oh, at least we get to save. So let me get this straight. If you miss the key, then... Well, you can actually move without having to complete the levels at this point. <laughs> What's over here? I can't go there. What's over here? A message box. Two message boxes. Thank God you put this there, otherwise Blair would have been stuck with no way out. Good call on your part, Ink. Or could I just try to make get lucky and make the biggest possible jump out of water? But it's still, it's better you have this invisible block there. And these are some of the weird dead pirates that I saw in one of the other documents. They were in the read me, one of the other documents, and now they're in the game too. And some of the messages are pretty weird. On your first entrance, you start to feel a little yellow. The second, you feel the loose. And the third, it's all swimmingly. But... The other guy... The other guy on the left won't be topping this message. Babies can't float. Or can they? Mm, babies. So what? This guy likes to eat babies? Oh, God. We're getting out of here. Oh, nice. I didn't complete the level, yet I can do start, select, and leave it. So it's as if it is already completed. But the paths aren't open yet. Okay. I tried checking this thing already. Turns out I can't find anything in it, so... There's actually three ways to go from here. No music. Make sure you're in a cozy environment when eating your mushrooms. How's that gonna help you? Can't do anything here, so... You come back later. Entry to your end. Pounding the Great Hump is a surefire way to bring you to the heavens. The Great Hump? Uh-oh. We've actually got some really powerful enemies here. Something I was in that wasn't expecting to see from such an empty game. That actually is going to make the game a bit more difficult. Then we got a bunch of blocks here. Trying to approach the blocks. Except you can't break these, so... I'm going to have to come back there later. Looks like the only place to go is Ruins of Blue Hills. the hell are these things? Honestly, I don't know. But they act like Goombas. And they actually look pretty cool, these things. Except the background palette could use work. The foreground palette isn't the best, but it's not as bad as the background palette. The levels probably could use the most work. I mean, look at this. There's hardly any enemies. You just run around. Dodging random things. Okay, we wait for this. I think you could 
could actually find yourself. I think you could actually walk through the slope here because it connects, connects to vertical landmass. I'm not gonna try and prove the point because there's monsters and I don't want to risk dying and doing the level again. I think this is a little bit of cutoff. I don't know. <laughs> At least the music's nice. Nice enough. And the story. The story apparently is Massimo, this hobo that lives in a hole, decides to go on a random adventure. Unfortunately, the land he adventures in, like the land he lives in, is very boring. That part of the story, they didn't mention how boring the land is. It's mostly flat, there's very few enemies. And honestly, Mushroom Kingdom and wherever else Mario goes is such more, such, much more appealing than this. Although this isn't as bad as some of the other things I've seen already. This is still just... Yeah, there's actually worse, but... Invisible! I don't think he meant for that to be a trap. But I still have so much freaking trauma over invisible blocks ever since those freaking Kaizo hacks. Everything's so stupid. Kaizo hacks I had to replay. Now I have to do this level again. Just freaking empty, so. And occasionally I do have to slow down just to make sure I don't get killed. I want to run fast so I can just blaze through most of this level, but I can't because I need to slow down and watch where I'm going. I haven't seen any mushrooms so far, so one hit and that's enough to knock me out completely. I've only got three lives left, I started with five. And what are these things? They look like eyeless snakes or something. Those Monty Moles. Hopefully some of the custom graphics are looking cool enough. But as I said before, these levels could use a lot of work. You could really take lessons from someone like me. Preferably Axum Jinx could give you lessons. As if he knew who you were. But you really need to take lessons from a really good level designer. Because honestly, this is just boring. Something is weird with these slopes, I don't know. I have a feeling I go in this pipe. Yep. <laughs> Find ourselves in another cave with those weird ground palaces that I saw in Watery Passageways cave area. And just like before, I'm seeing almost no enemies. In fact, look how I'm just running through the entire level. <coughs> Watch out for the red eyes, Scruffy. <coughs> They're not good for your soles. What, the soles of your shoes? Oh, so actually, why would I want to go back? I don't know. Background. Yeah, music's good enough. I'll take the music. Grins of blue hills, yet the hills in the background are who knows what color. Looks like some sort of yellow, gray, and black. Well, the uh, foreground hills are still blue, so I'll give them that. At least it's not called Ruins of Blue Hills and the hills are green or red or something like that. Or something stupid like that. It's like Silver Sword in Action 52. The sword's not even silver. It's not like that, thankfully. Except the levels are still fairly empty, so... Well, that segment there wasn't as empty, but this... Oh my god. Were you too lazy to think of anything else but that? Another cutoff ledge, which, according to Egg knowledge, this is correct. No, it's not correct. Your knowledge is wrong. I could've just swam under those guys, honestly. You can swim under all these things. But I might want to go up here, because look. Ah, uh, it was pointless! Come 
cut off with the bush. It's pretty noticeable once you get close enough to it. From far away, I wouldn't be able to spot these, but up close, I can really spot them. Question mark! Let's go. Giant piranha plant. Uh oh, no, 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 no! Oh, crap. That guy's gonna be prob troublesome to deal with. That's why I might just want to whack him with one of these blocks and just get it over. Wrong corner tile. I gotta make sure I don't die here. Because I think I've gone too far. Actually, I get to save at every level. Okay, I knocked him out with a block. That's good. And over. Wrong corner tile again. Yeesh, what is it with these corner tiles these days? And all this is pointless. It's just there for the sake of, I don't know, being there. Now let's go in this pipe, because it's the only place we can go. <coughs> you gone done it! Gone done what? Hit a switch block? No, hit a switch palace? And yes, the land has there cuts off. But it should end in other ledge tiles and... Ugh, so far... Your hack is looking pretty empty. And I haven't seen a single mushroom yet, but... I have that feeling that Switch Palace is supposed to do something. We're gonna get all our questions answered in the next episode, whether there's a mushroom or not. So yeah, bye.